on Triflix Fridays, we build this. Oh, why hello there, and welcome to another episode of Triflix Films, where today things will be getting rather... hot. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get started. First we are going to need one rotary dimmer, they're usually about five dollars. One double socket outlet for a dollar. One conduit box for a dollar. One conduit box cover for a dollar. One outlet socket for a dollar. One NM connector for $1.50 and an extension cord for $2. But wait, there's more! You're gonna need a $14.500 watt work light. Let's go ahead and get started by taking that socket and putting it in that cover pleat. Get your screws ready because we're gonna be tightening up. And now's the fun part, electrical. Your green wire is gonna go to your little green screw. It's pretty simple and intuitive. Next you're going to have a little black wire. And here we have the black wire from the middle between a black and a green wire. We're going to take that middle black wire and go ahead and tighten it on up. And here we have the conduit box uh, and the NM connector. Go ahead and take an extension cable. I had one laying around the house and I uh, split it and I stripped the wire and I ran it through the little box and through the NM connector. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put that NM connector in there and get it all nice and tight and snug. And the reason for this is uh, if someone pulls on your box, it doesn't completely ruin your entire unit, which could happen. I'm going to go ahead and tighten down our rotary dimmer. Here we are connecting the hot wire of the extension cable to the hot wire of the rotary dimmer. The hot wire will be very smooth while the neutral wire will have little ridges in it. Now we are taking that neutral wire I just mentioned and tighten it down on the outer side of the socket. And getting the whole box all put together. And uh, make sure you screw it all together as well. That's kind of important. Last touch, put on that knob. And here is for our backlight. We're going to go need that socket adapter and the light bulb. Go ahead and put those together. And you can plug that in and uh, you're ready to go. Now it's time to unbox the big boy. This is a 500 watt, $14 halogen work light that I got on a crazy good deal down at Menards. I suggest you save big money and shop at Menards. They did not endorse me to say that. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. As you can see, this is a very nice kit. I'm uh, considering buying a second one already. First thing you want to do is whenever you're using uh, lighting, you don't want any shadows, which this cage made, so I highly suggest you rip it off. And it's pretty easy, you just bend all the corners and uh, out she goes. And this pretty much uh, completes the light kit. Stick around after the commercial break when I explain how to set it up properly. Sponsor time! I want to personally thank Andy Car Design for all the sick logos they provided us with, as well as design help. Andy Car Design, best design on this side of the Mississippi. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and address the pros and the cons of this kit. As you can see in the background, we got the little light trying to fill in the shadows and bring some light around the actor. Here is our floodlight pointing directly at the actor. Uh, it casts quite a bit of shadow, so I'm not too happy, but it is dimmable, which is always a plus. As you can see, them shadows are massive. Really, really massive. But, it fills in her face, there is no shadows on the actor, which is always a plus. Here is the switch in action, getting some beautiful dimming motions. I want to thank my mama, my doggy, and uh, my papa for helping with this video, as well as Tanner Smith, who uh, used to work with me on all my videos, but uh, college got in the way. Alright guys, so I understand that this light kit has a couple issues, and this is only the first part of the light kit series, so the second part I will be addressing them as well as finishing up this kit and making it look beautiful, so make sure you catch us next Friday. Alright guys, so that concludes today's episode, the first half of Triflix Film's official DIY light kit. If you enjoyed it, let me know by liking the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like it. Also, if you want to see the second part, 
you should probably hit subscribe. If you guys want me to answer any of your questions, leave those in the comment section below or send them to me on Twitter. I'll probably answer them on Tuesday or Friday. I don't know. I might even reply immediately in the comment section or on Twitter, and then you can get some immediate results. But as always, guys, don't stop working hard.